Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, I went ahead, I actually just last second got here. I wish I could have recorded the process of driving here, but listen, I got to this chopper event with like five seconds to spare, so I'm sorry, okay? There was no time, no time, but we're gonna hop into this. We're gonna talk about something pretty cool that the devs released a little bit of a sneak peek at some future stuff, so no worries, we got some cool stuff to talk about there. But first off, we got a chopper. Then I want to survive. Wait, do I have my pantalones on? Are the pantaloons where they should be? Oh, it's going to be this event. Okay, so as you can see, pretty empty inventory here. I'm pretty ready to do some damage. Uh, we do have a first aid kit. I'm just going to have the first aid kit ready to go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, sure thing. I'll help you out. I'm I'm a great person like that. Well, I'm helping this person out. Hopefully, you guys are having absolutely an amazing, absolutely fan fantastic day. I hope this video... Makes it better, and if not, I hope anything going on in your life makes it better. And then, on top of all that, yeah, just make it make it awesomer today. Is this guy about to? Oh no, he's gonna. He's, don't be a meanie. All right, guy one dead. Friends haven't noticed. Bad friends. <laughs> they haven't even noticed his friends are dead. I wonder if I get a sneak attack on him. Woo! No, no sneaky snake. No sneaky. Oh god. Okay, okay. Woo! That was getting close. Woo! All we had to do is one first aid kit. Hell yeah. What kind of gun did that guy have? I feel like one guy had a pistol, yeah. Aluminium! I'll take that. And I guess some body armor. I'll just give that to Tommy Boy on the way back. Yeah, why not? I will give this to Tommy Boy. We could stop by that event anyways. What about over here? M16. Aluminium wire. And some more, some more clothes. But... We got these three things to get through. Uh, we're kind of close to dying, so... I'll just use up the band-aids. Yeah, I had those extra band-aids anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys have an absolutely an amazing day. That only gets better. Yay! <laughs> like me, getting all this free iron. From here on out, and on top of that... Hey, hey, make sure tomorrow's even better than any of this going on today. Can you do that for me? I think you can. You guys, after all, are some of the greatest fans in the world. Alright, so I believe, I believe in you. I believe you can do anything. Yes! What? A weapon crate that actually gives us an M16. Hold the phone there, Sonny Jim Barbarino. I like what I'm seeing. This is a great start to the day. I got good vibes. You know what would make it a better start? If we got the shipwreck event again. I'm not getting that thing at all, dude. And I need it. I want it. But I can't have it. Meh. But meh. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave some pants behind. I'll leave the hat behind to grab the leather. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with what we got here. We could steal some gas, but I have no water with which to steal it. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's okay. I'll just leave these dead bodies here. It's not like the armor's any good. I mean, the armor is full of bullet holes after the shenanigans that we partook in. But, while we are making our way back, there is something that I wanted to show you guys. So, on Facebook... Kafir posted this little thing. This little thing right here. You ready to see it? You ready to see it? Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. This thing! Look at that. We haven't shared our artist concepts for a while. Let's fix this. So check out what Kafir actually did. We'll stop by the smugglers camp here. I think we might try to knock out the first level or two just because we got probably enough basic weapons to do it and it's on the way home, which is actually really nifty. That's what I like about chopper events up there. We can see there's like barely any time left on that. But, uh, yeah, this event here is a showing off what looks like an infected subway of some sort, which means, I don't know, usually when people release concept art, it means it's an idea they're exploring, putting into game in the future, because these are, these are the artists that Last Day on Earth pays, and I don't think, like, on their payroll, right? I don't think they're going to be paying them just like, hey, draw pretty stuff. It's like, no, draw stuff that, you know, we think could be in the game. We think they could be cool in the game, things that we might want in the game. So with this, this looks like some sort of an infected subway with infection all over. And at first glance, you might be like, okay, it's a subway. But wait, think of it this way. Where do you find subways? The city. Where do you not find subways? Somewhere that's not the city. Subways are something that's pretty restricted and pretty unique to like larger city-like areas. Which means, while this might be showing off what might be a cool subway future location, which would be really cool, I think the bigger thing that this is signaling is that, hey, yo, dude, check this out, cool beans, bro. Is that is that how hip people talk nowadays? 
Uh, but I think this is signaling that something like a city might be coming in the future too. Could you imagine that? You have to go... I, I could see that actually. Hold on. I'm going to go on the map really quickly. But could you imagine that? There's like a subway that you can go to. Somewhere on the map. Maybe somewhere a little bit close. Because, you know, subway stations can be anywhere. But a lot of times they lead... They lead to one place. They lead to a city. So what if there's a subway station kind of close to home, right? You can check out. You go there. And then you do have to battle through and stuff. But what if you could somehow, like, fix the train or something that works? And then you can take that to the city, which could be located anywhere out here. There's a lot, like... There's a lot of area. I think something like a city. And I think... Isn't that something they've mentioned before, too? That, like, there's cities in the north? I don't know for sure. But I think loading screens have hinted towards cities being a thing too. So I think this is a cool thing that kind of hints towards cities even more. But at the end of the day, that's just what I think about it. So I cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments section what you think about a potential future subway location being a thing. And along with that, if you think it might be something that leads maybe to like a city. Which would be so freaking cool. I don't know, man. But that's real. I, I, I love it. I love seeing this kind of hinting towards two future things. I cannot wait. I'm going to love, I'm sure, the creativity that you guys come up with in the comment section down below. Y'all never disappoint. That is one thing is for sure. And Tommy, my boy, you can have this. I'm just going to let Tommy go to work over here. Yeah, I'll just give him the sledgehammer, let him do all this stuff. And enjoy some clothes while you're at it, Tommy Bob. Um, I Yeah, sorry. No pantalones for you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we could start knocking out this quest. I'll do the saw blade mace here. We got the melee weapon I'm not trying to use guns for a green crate, right? Green crates are too easy peasy But yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys got to say about the comments in terms of what you think about it What you think it might be and uh, how you think it might be added into the game? Maybe this is where we find the blind zombie because you can see like the infection kind of like spreading across the subway Which is pretty cool Ugh, die, Tommy, do work, yes, Tommy, I believe in you, oh no, don't die to that guy, how about that, I'll help you out, you take out the one hitters, and you got this, buddy, yeah, I'm just gonna let Tommy do all the work, because this way, we gotta do less, <laughs> but yeah, and if you are leaving a comment down below, reminder, that comment puts you a third of the way, into the weekly $25, iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do after that, make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe. That'll enter you in on this last day on Earth video after you are done to do with that. Uh, you can actually enter in on every last day on Earth video. Uh, all you gotta do is go back and do the same thing on other videos. And when Saturday rolls around, I'll pick a winner from the past week by picking a random video from the past week. Uh, then I'll pick a random person comment if that comment is liked the video and is subscribed boom shakalaka you get the 25 dollar gift card coming your way come saturday when you are announced but other than that i like doing that spurs discussion a little bit and i love hearing like i just love hearing as many people's thoughts as possible any type of comment enters you into it but i love it if you guys like answer certain comments uh certain questions that i might be asking you guys like i think he's about to be done up here right yeah but certain questions that I ask you guys, like, for example, what you think of that subway? Because that subway, dude, that subway is looking cool. I don't know. I'm excited. Tom, help me out, dude. Don't just leave me. <laughs> Tom's a bad person. Yeah, the green, the, the first wave is always so weird. Because this, this always happens. I, I don't know. It always happens where the last wave, or the first crate is always weird. Because the last wave always comes after you're done. You know, it's, it's kind of odd, but okay. Johnny, we completed it, man. You think we wouldn't complete it? Nah, dude. You know we got it. Oh, give me some good in this crate. Uh, I, game, I think our definitions of good are a little bit different <laughs> from each other. That is a doggy doo doo. Not good. Uh, ooh, we should probably take some of this uh, strong alcohol. You know, I should put some boots on too. I forgot. We don't have shoes. Like, it was some room for the strong alcohol. I love taking this stuff, man. All right. It's not because we're having super litty parties back at home. No. It's because of, uh, wait, did I take the next quest? No. It's because it's super useful in the north. And if you stockpile that stuff, you don't even need fur, honestly. But okay. Second wave's coming. Tommy, I will give you my weapon. Uh, you know what? No, I won't. I'll give you, actually, yes, I will. Hold on. So I'm going to be the one using the gun here, Tommy, and you can be the one struggling to do things i'll give you uh hold on i gotta drop some of the stuff off here uh yeah 
I'll, I'll, I'll hide that for now. What I was going to say, though, is I can give him at least a couple of first aid kits so he doesn't die. Tommy! Actually, no, you're not getting first aid kits. He can have band-aids. There you go, Tommy. Don't die, buddy. I believe in you. I really do. And then I'll put that away. And I wish I could give him another weapon on top of this, but I don't think that can happen. But all right. We can survive the second wave. It's a minute 40. It ain't that much more difficult. I'll take the quest because I like the loot that it has. I love doing these, man. I, I wouldn't recommend everyone do them. But if you have a lot of spare loot and you can handle it, it's worth it because you can get some rarer items out of it. Doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get anything like that, but definitely worth. Okay, Tommy, let's go. Melee this thing. Yeah, let's mow him down. Woo! Tag team in, everybody! I wish I could scream shotgun rain right now, but I'm trying to save that shotgun rain for a little bit. Tommy, good stuff. You only took 10 damage. That's the power of no pantaloons. You guys always doubted me. You're like, Star, the panta... Oh, no, he's, he's punching stuff now. Okay, Tom, uh, you know what? You can have a... You can, uh, I should, I should give him. Uh, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Tommy, don't die. I think, whatever. Oh, no. I'm, I'm panicking too now. Okay, we need a gun. We need a gun. Okay, let's start mowing people down. Ah! Uh, first aid kit. Tommy, I know you want to be a professional boxer all your life, but right now is not the time. Please, have that. Get back to work, buddy. There we go. That should help out a little bit. Tom, <laughs> I was panicking. That's what I hate. When their weapon breaks in the middle of a fight, you, and then your weapon breaks, and you're like, wait, I gotta focus on things. What's going on? Come on. Oh, no, no. Okay, no, I'm going back to punching. You, you, you're, you're going down my way, buddy. Ah, Mike Tyson, hit me the left. Float like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. Pop like a balloon. Whatever the hell the catchphrase is. Like a water balloon, I think. Okay, we got one more wave to get through. Uh, buddy, uh, you got this right. Hold on, I'm gonna try to... I keep using that gun, man. I'm helping you out as much as I can, Tommy. You gotta help me, though. You gotta help me help you. Okay, are we done? Can I have my free loot now? Well, that wasn't free loot, to say the least, but can I have my loot now? Anything good? Oh, let's go! Another steel plate! Dude, the last two times we've been here... Oh, I got some pantalones for Tommy! Tommy, enjoy! These pantal... You get, you get the poopier ones, though. I get the good ones, man. You kidding me? Actually, just kidding. I have two amazing pairs, so you know what? Here, Tommy, go be the SWAT boxer that you always wanted to be. In the meantime, I will be taking home the goodies. And actually, I'll take home. We got plenty of that hard alcohol to take home. Uh, anything good here? Nope. Another Spike Devastator. I thought our luck was turning around with that stuff. <laughs> we get one M16 and then the seven days, not the seven days, the last day gods are all like, huh. I think that's enough weapons for the rest of the month. Uh, anything? I'll just leave these weapons here. Uh, I'll take that. And I'll say I'll take some paint. Other than that, though, I'm happy with that. But we do gotta go home. If we wanna do this last layer... Not layer. Why am I calling it a layer? This isn't a cake. If we wanna do this last level... We need the turret repaired. And honestly... We almost have enough stuff to do it. We need some more nuts on it. Actually, I might be able to, like, get the rest into my inventory to save us some time. I might be able to, because we have enough ball bearings. We just need some bolts to fill out our inventory. And uh, some uh, wires. I think we might actually have enough. Let's go! We got enough! This event, we got enough stuff out of the blue crate. It was the ball bearings, because I don't have ball bearings anymore in here. I've been running low on that stuff, right? Well, I got, I got them back at home. But still, you guys know what I'm saying, right? So that's actually really helpful. Because now we can knock this out. We don't have to travel back home. Although, really quickly, I do want to step out of the map. And see if maybe anything new spawned in. Also, we have more pistols if we need them. <laughs> but I want to see if maybe... The shipwreck event spawned? Like, I'd love to see that thing. But I don't know, man. Our luck hasn't been the greatest when it comes to the shipwreck for some reason. Like, I've, I've gotten the shipwreck twice this week. Like, yeah, I, th I think I've gotten the shipwreck twice. Which makes me a sad panda. But, hey... I don't know. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get it. Cause I, I hear some people were saying like the latest shipwreck that you guys were getting was like glitched and you only got one crate out of it. So I don't know what the deal is with that. I can't tell you because I can't get the shipwreck. But yeah, if you guys if you guys are able ever able to decipher how you get the shipwreck to spawn or what caused it to spawn, please inform me. Oh no, 
Oh no, I'm a dink. No! No! I literally said not to do that last episode, and what do I do? I do it. No! I'm so stupid. <laughs> the one thing I say not to do after you repair the turret, don't back out. What do I do? Oh, herp dirt. My name's Star. Let's back out for a quick second. Let's see if anything cool's happen on the map. Then it's like, oh, wait. <laughs> got Eve. And by got Eve, I mean got myself. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, I guess we could get some food back at home because we don't have anything on us. But and we can drop off some loot, which we kind of would have had to do anyway. I don't know. Let's get some more stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to come up with bright sides to my dingus, dingusness. You know, and it's just, it's very hard. It really is. <laughs> I don't know how I can manage to do that, but hey, if there's anything that you think is not possible, that just goes to show you, you can make it possible. Whether that be through stupidity or through triumph and effort, who knows? What up, healer? How you doing? You come back for another round of me peeing on you? No? Didn't think so. You seem to enjoy the last one surprisingly too much. You did give me some berries after I did it, which was very weird, but hey, I won't question it. Anyways, can we get some food up in our inventory? We also got some copper over there, as you guys can see. I'm trying to smelt up some more steel. We might actually have, like, an okay supply of steel starting soon, which is, like, nifty. Like, it wouldn't, it's not the best in the world, but it's no, it's no pushover. And we gotta get some food in our belly, too. Actually, gotta get some food in my belly in real life, too. I am kind of hungry. Uh, there we go. Let's munch on those. 89. Good enough. And then I just want to drop off, uh, yeah, we'll do some wire there. Drop off the aluminum. Dude, we have so much aluminum. Like, <laughs> I remember when I thought aluminum was hard to get, man. Um, you know, times change. Times really change. I'm just trying to, like, start figuring out what to do with all this stuff. I'm trying to, like, come up with inventory room. And I don't even know. But you guys can see, the inventory is looking, uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice to say the least. We can put that there. Put some more aluminum there. And I think, uh, yeah, there's the bell. Uh, and I think I've been trying to stockpile this stuff here for the most part. Like the random stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can scrap those things. Toss that in there. And now all I gotta do is find out. Oh, I can take the paints too. Put those where they belong. Sorry, I'm not gonna do too much inventory, man. I'm just doing like a very, oh. And I'll put that in another chest, too. Doing a very small amount of inventory management here. Nothing, nothing loco. No worries. And then, what can I do? I want this to go here. I, I got the one random fur. Yeah, honestly. That'll be okay. There we go. Yeah, you can see our steel's really ballooning up, though. We're getting way more of that, but... Alright. Uh, I'm gonna grab what we need here. Alright, now that our inventory is a little bit more on the organized side, we got a little bit more guns up in here. We got what we need to repair the turret. I think we're ready to head on back. Maybe if we're lucky, the stupid shipwreck will spawn. Probably won't, knowing my luck, but hey, that's okay. Let's just, let's just head on back and all that jazz. What is up, Choppa? Let's get to driving. Drive me, I need you to transport my booty, which sits upon, which sits upon your seat, to the location which I specify. May you do this for me? I hope so, it's why I built you. Wow, literally no events. To be fair, you do still have, like, a good amount of energy, which usually does stop event- like, usually... I think after this, and when we travel home, that'll bring us under 50. Usually when you're, like, around slash under 50 is when the things start popping up, so... Maybe we'll get lucky with the shipwreck then. Maybe not, though, because it just seems like everything else wants to spawn besides the shipwreck. But what do I know? I'm just a star. Okay. Hello, buddies. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to rumble? Dun, 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 dun. No. Okay. You, I might give you that right there. I'm going to equip the good gun. Uh, I wish I could have him use these band-aids, but... Because then he could be at full health and I could give him the other guns, but okay. Turret, you're getting repaired. I'm not leaving this time. All right, we're going to be... We got two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Things are gonna get tough, that's for sure, but between all of us, I think we got this. Tommy, I believe in you. This The going might get tough, but you can do this. Just get the big guy. Nice. I 
just love mowing down hordes of them, man. It's so, it's so satisfying just watching them all drop. Look at that. Look at that Congo line of dead bodies. They're dancing something a fool. Okay. A couple of fast players coming up. Not too hard. Oh! Floater, floater. Getting decimated right away. We're doing good. Now, I don't know how much of this... I might actually go to, like, the pistol for now. Because these are kind of easier zombie. I might try to save that gun for the later rounds. I think that pistol might actually be a little bit better early on. I might... I, uh, this is getting a little bit harder here. But still. Oh, no, no, no. Get away. Don't hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me instead. Hit me instead, buddy. Good stuff. Also, turret, please don't die. I need you alive. Oh, look at them just dropping. I love... Th I, that's, what, that's another thing I love. Just seeing the funny ways that zombies sometimes die. Like, they'll just do random backflips and stuff. I don't know what it is. It's just... It's so satisfying. No, don't, don't attack him. Don't attack him. Focus on me. I will protect the man with the saw. He's a good man. Dude, we're not even like halfway. And look at all these tough things we did to survive. I cannot get over how tough this last wave is. We really better come out on top. Come out better for it. Oh, this is the biggest one yet. Toxic abomination. Oh, we got a couple of big guys. Doesn't matter when you got a turret doing work. Ow. Okay, it might matter when this is happening. Uh, we gotta equip the gun. Things are getting crazy right now. It's gun time. How does Tom have 46? I don't think he's used the band-aid yet. Tom, you are a madman. Has anyone told you that? No? Okay, well... It's like they punch Tom once and then they lose interest. Yeah, they, they do like three damage to Tom. Do you see the shenanigans? I saw the number three pop up next to Tom. Why is Tom... Why do they do three damage to Tom and his like poopy SWAT armor? Then when they try to damage me... You guys see how much damage they do? Oh my god, wait, this is a- Holy hell! Okay, this is the biggest wave yet. This is where the panic starts to set in. We can handle this though, right? Okay, that's another gun that bites the dust. Uh, let's equip- Uh, let's equip that gun. I don't even know what I'm shooting at at this point. I think we got one wave to go. Yeah, we do. Oh no, Tommy. Tommy is- He's gone melee mode. Oh no. Okay, okay. Oh no, that weapon broke. Okay, uh, we- We gotta use the other rifle. This is where things are going bad! Tommy! Be that professional boxer you always wanted to be! I believe in you! Look at that man going ham! <laughs> he was just surrounded by zombies, shirtless, Rocky style. You can hear the music like playing in his head. And the pantalon is dead intact! That's what you know did the job. The pants. These are legendary pants. I'm gonna have to frame these back at home. But will this red crate be legendary? I don't know. I'll complete the quest first. There you go, Johnny. You know I love smuggling stuff. Still have no clue how the hell you guys brought these crates here, but I don't question smugglers, all right? Those are- they're, they're a special breed of people. You don't question them. You just go with it. And I'm gonna go with the red crate. Will it be good? Will I finally get an engine part? Or some more steel? That I desired! Yes, I will! Although, this is definitely poopier than the last one. We got a gun! And some more pantaloons. Dude, we're getting so many pantaloons. I love it. But we got some band-aids, some different colors and stuff. We got bauxite we could grab. That was actually worse than the blue crate. I didn't think that'd be possible, but hey. It's still worth the risk, because that red crate can really have some good stuff. Like last time, I think we got two steel plates out of it or something. I don't even remember. But um, I'm, I, I, I'm not happy with what was in the crates here, Johnny. If that's your real name. I don't- I don't like what you did here. Why- why- I don't- I don't like it! Bring better crates next time! And maybe this won't happen to you! Huh? How's that sound? How's that sound for a bargain? Yeah, I'm smelly. Take my smell. I'm rubbing my smell all over you. How's it feel? I want to see the smell icon pop up above you. Yeah, that's right. How smelly am I? Punk. He probably has a runny nose. He can't smell me because he doesn't seem to care at all about the fact that I stank. But all right, uh, I'll, I'll grab the thick clothing too. We'll bring that back. Other than that, eh, I guess I'll bring the spike devastator. Spike devastator at this point is best suited for like things with 100 health. Because it just doesn't kill things with 80 health anymore in time. Used to do three hits, now it does four. And like, it's, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Because 27 times three is 81. Now 26 times three is like 78. So you're left with two extra damage on anything, and it really sucks, and... Wow, dude, just... Nothing wants to pop up today. This is... This is weird. I... Never seen nothing like it, but... Maybe this'll do it. Maybe this'll be the straw that broke the event camel's back. 
Maybe this will finally get some things popping up for us. And if it doesn't, well, the hell with it. Nothing we can do besides prepare for the horde. That's about a poop on us in a total of what, seven hours? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah. At this time of day, zombies are especially distracting. What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Nighttime? They're especially distracting? They are? Uh, they, they feel equally distracting to me. I don't think the... the <laughs> I don't think the presence of the sun or the moon affects how I feel about them, but okay. Moment of truth. Will anything else pop up or are we going to be disappointed by today's event list? Please. Rep that... Rep... <laughs> wreck that ship on the southern shores. I want to go visit. <gasps> oh, oh. I mean, at least it's somewhere to go. All right. I'll drop off some things. We'll head on over there at least. My name is Star and I like to sing when I'm in the shower about not being smelly because the shower makes me not smelly. Woo! That's my new hit single, uh, Showers Not Smell, releasing August 32nd on the iTunes, uh, uh, iTunes store. So make sure to check it out. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys are going to be hype about it. Really, I can't wait for August 32nd. Gonna be a great day. You know what else is gonna be great? Hopefully finding out what this uh, little airdrop here contains. Maybe if we're lucky, after that the shipwreck will spawn. If not, hey, free stuff. I like free stuff. We're making maximum use of our energy. And guess what? Maximum use of the energy is the best use of the energy. And yeah, we're about to be totally out after this. So unless a shipwreck happens, this will be the final go-to of the day. Ooh, the bunker is empty too. We might want to stop by there and at least open up a green crate. Maybe it's something we could look into, you know, just like a hermana hermana. I think, I think it's, that's on the to-do list. I could see it. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe we'll stretch it out a little bit more. All right, nothing like a free green crate to really, you know, get, get you going. Can't green crates if we're lucky have engine parts? I would love that, man. Engine parts are Gucci. Well, I don't think they're Gucci actually, but they're, they're, they're very good. I don't think Gucci makes engine parts. That, that would be interesting to say the least, but I don't think they do. All right, what we got going here? We're not getting bothered by no toxic spitters. Oh yeah, we are. Not dealing with you, not trying to be smelly today, toxic spitter. I'll happily use my gun on you today. Sorry, Sonny Jim Bob. All right, let's go to the machete. Airdrop, give me something good. Give me that engine part. I've never gotten an engine part out of you. I... Okay. Like, it's it's a red ticket. That's okay. Re really nothing to write home about, though. I can't be like, Mom! Mom, I got a red ticket out of an airdrop! And my mom's gonna be like, Son? Star? Papa Star? Because my mom calls me Papa Star for some reason. No, I, I don't think that is true. But, uh, Star, I'm so proud of you. I never thought you'd get a red ticket out of an airdrop in your life. And I'm like, Ma, I never thought I would either. But it happened. It happened. And life is so amazing and ah, it's so good. All right. That airdrop's got nothing though. I might actually just start walking to the bunker. Just because I don't want to I, I don't want to buy more energy. Because I don't think I'm going to use all of it. And if I buy energy, dude, I'm buying it to be productive. Okay. I like saving that stuff. And right now. Hmm. And how would it for the video? I could do it. That ain't too big of a deal. We just gotta grab our tickets over here from the north. Sorry, healer. Not interested in you today. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like watching an ad. I love the fact that he's an option all the time now. Seriously, though. Huge improvement there. We only got 27 red tickets. I guess we did barely explore the bunker last time, to be fair. That is something we should probably try and do a little bit. Yeah, I think we might try and do that a little bit more next time. Just because we need more red tickets. Because at this rate, we ain't got enough red tickets, boy. We ain't got enough of that, that's for sure. And let's make our way over to here. Run. Yeah, sure thing. We couldn't either. Nah, ads not going to get us enough. I love that. That's an option again, too. We can. I can watch ads again to get energy back, man. I don't know what it was, but that was glitched for a while. I know it was glitched for some people. Not everybody, because I know I was getting some comments like, Star, it wasn't glitched for me last time. I, I know that. 
I know that it wasn't for everybody, but for some people, that was a glitch where some people could not watch ads. Some people were not getting the healer, that type of stuff. So it's really awesome to see that it's back. And a lot of other people were reporting that it's back for them, too, across, like, Reddit, across the comment section, too. So thank you guys, too, for letting me know stuff like that, because then I can get, like, a, I can gauge how everything's going. And just whenever you guys tell me anything in the comments, it's awesome. Because we have such a huge group of last day people here where it's like, okay, we can really put two and two together. Like, I can't put two and two together unless there's like 50,000 views on a video. Am I right? Am I 50,000 of you guys watching? Yeah, that, that's my math skills depend on how many views I get. It's a it's an awful disease. It's called uh, viewitis, you know, uh, the math viewitis. The, come, come. If you guys have a cooler name for that thing, please let me know. Because right now my name, Schemen, is not right. But today's code, in case you are wondering, four, four, six, two, nine. Confirm. Now let's just go a little bit deaf as this thing opens. Make our way down. Kill the usual people. Oh, we can check the room and see if it has wrenches. Although lately we haven't been getting wrenches out of that room, which really makes me sad. I feel like wrenches might be needed soon. Especially if we gotta craft another generator sometime. What do generators take? Isn't it like uh, 10 wrenches or is it 15? I don't even remember. Uh, what is it? Yeah. Generators take 15 wrenches total, so... We better be ready for a generator. So I really, like, I don't know. I feel like it is something good to invest into just to be safe. And it's something that I might want to. Goodbye. Invest into. To be safe. Alright, we got this guy over here. This fast biter who stares at a door for some reason. For re oh, yeah, stare at the door a little closer. I'll, I'll get your head closer for you there, buddy. Let's open this thing up right away. See what we can get. Green crate, I don't expect a lot out of you. Yeah. Eh. I can't complain about it. Eh, actually pretty good. A couple of aluminum wire on top of all that, too. I'll take it. I'll take that to the bank. A little bit of gas. Eh, I don't know if I'll take that. Ooh, jerky and food. That might come in handy, man. Our food supply is running a little bit lower later. L not later. Lately. Oh. So here's the thing that I just noticed, too. I think whenever I kill that guy with a sledgehammer, I'm barely far enough away where his friend doesn't notice. But if I kill him with the machete, because you have to be a bit closer to tag with the machete, he does notice, and he's like, Yo, bro, not cool, man. And I'm like, oh, sorry, and then I kill him, too. But still, oh, get that head out of here. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's a little thing that I noticed. I don't know how truthful it is, but it definitely seems like it has something to it. Give me a wrench, please. Wow, this thing has sucked lately. For real, I've gotten a wrench out of this, like... I got a wrench out of this at some point, like, three days in a row. Now it's not dropping nothing. Well, at least I could maybe... Maybe I'll find something good in here. Maybe. I don't think so, but... Oh, my favorite. My favorite right here. Trash. Hot, hot trash. Look at that. Nothing special. You can just throw it away. Well, I don't want to throw it away. Maybe I like it. Maybe the trash makes me feel special. Okay. <laughs> I don't need anything else besides the trash. But that's gonna go ahead and write what it'll be for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. For real, let me know what you think of the subway that we showed off at the beginning of the video, along with my idea that it might be a city, or any of your ideas that you might have, not just what you think of uh, my ideas. Feel free to elaborate on whatever I said. Feel free to just, I, I love hearing anything and everything you gotta say. And as you say that, remember, that puts you a third of the way into the giveaway. Just like and subscribe as well. And you're entered on this video. But other than that, uh, I would just wanna say thank you guys so much. I think we're about to break 420. K subscribers absolutely nutty you guys are amazing don't ever forget that the things we do with this channel here is all thanks to you i just make the videos you guys are the driving force behind it all right at the end of the day there's one of me and how many of you guys yeah i don't need i, I don't need my fifty thousand views to put that math together that's a way big fifty thousand and four hundred thousand subscribers is way bigger than one star and together we make a freaking awesome youtube channel that's for sure but other than that that's gonna go ahead and wrap with me for now. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day that I really hope only gets more fan freaking fantastic from this point onwards. And when you wake up tomorrow, I don't want that fan freaking fantasticness to stop. I want it to continue, and I want it to continue growing. Can you do that for me? I believe you can. I sincerely do. But other than that, it's gonna wrap with me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.